Hey, it's Mike from Nashville. I hope everybody's doing great. Today I have... No Show Bob. No Show Bob, and he's here to play guitar. I'm here to jam on, on the Epiphone there, the SG. We're going to do a demo of the Dr. Robert, which actually I did, I think, an unboxing of a couple of years ago, and I'm just now getting around to it. Um, but the Dr. Robert pedal is basically a UL730, um, and the, the company is called Aclom. And Aclom actually, what they did was they went out and found a UL730, and they they basically checked this, you know, tried to match the circuitry uh, to make this pedal. Now that this pedal was, you know, based on that amplifier. That amplifier was actually used during the Revolver, hence the Dr. Robert. And actually, what's cool about this pedal? One thing I'll say about Aclom, and I think that they're actually, you know, artists themselves because they actually went out and seeked out the guy who did the album cover for the for the Revolver album. I mean, who does that? It, it, which is Klaus Foreman, and he's been a part of the Beals family since the beginning, and uh, he did the artwork on this pedal. I mean, if you're if you're going to go out and seek out the guy who did the the art cover for the album, and then do it for your pedal, I mean, this pedal better be good. And um, so it's it's actually taken me a while to to do this because this pedal is pretty good. Um, it's not at all what I was expecting. Um, and I'm going to demo it. Or actually, Bob, you're going to demo it, right? Okay. So here we it. go. So go ahead and. We're going to hear the difference now. That's the clean channel there. I'm going to start off with start keeping the mid at about 9 o'clock because that is where you'll hear the difference with the sound. Um, it's very bassy. Um, you know, it seems like it, what do you think, it drops the middle out? It definitely drops the middle out. Yeah, yeah and it kind of, you know, and one thing I'll say too about this pedal that it definitely, I feel like it transforms my amp. Like a lot of pedals are different effects and they kind of, you know, it'll be the effect and your amplifier working together. This is the first time that I actually got a pedal where when you flip it on, it actually sounds like it's it's a whole new amplifier. It's it's now a UL730, you know, and I've never played one of those, obviously. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's just, I think that's what's cool about this. It's great with effects pedals. It's great with playing with different, you know, you can, it's not just all about the overdrive and the fuzz, which you'll see, but here, look, I'll shut up now and let's get started. Go ahead and play clean again. Yep. We're playing out of a, Delu this is a deluxe reverb. Here we go. Pedals Instantly, you hear more of that. That little. I think that's pretty good. I really like said how as soon as you brought that in, that clean, you got that that deep bass, and it sounds yep. so much fuller. Yeah, really, really good. And then I adjusted, I gave it some gain there. Did yeah, you see that? yeah. So now I really get a little, more, a little more of that crunch, but it's not overdriven so much. It's just a little bit of that yeah. Crunch. dial it back again then I'll, what i'll do is now i've got the mid at 12 o'clock and the gain at 12 o'clock and i'm going to bring in the mid all the way so go ahead and play again something and i'm going to slowly drive up the mid so you can kind of okay. hear the difference So now I end up with the, what do you think of that? How do you, I, I like that. A little bit. It's breaking up a little bit more. Yeah. I would like to, I'd be interested to see if I go ahead and, so right now, yeah. I'm, of course, the middle, I'd really love to go, go for down. it. See, now you really get that good, you know. Really 
everybody get that more of that full in. I like that. So now what I'll do is I'm going to actually I'm going to bring the mid back here, and I'm going to now I'm going to do the same thing with the gain, so you can kind of hear more of the gain. The mid will be at twelve o'clock, and the which is kind of go ahead and play it right now a little bit. Back to that. Here's let's go back to that clean sound. Yep. I'm going to put it back in. Go ahead. So here's the it's disengaged. See how immediately you hear immediately you hear the um, yeah the bass sound I guess the, but clean. Almost like a fuzz yeah. at this point. Yeah. Speaking of fuzz, so that's full gain actually, and actually full mid. Um, go ahead and play a little more. We'll I think is a sweep. Go ahead and put it in whatever pickup position you want, Bob. Okay. Like that you play with. Go ahead. Here's what I think is a sweet spot. Go ahead. That's really good. Yeah, play some licks like that, Bob. That sounds good, man. Ready for the Makshaw? I don't know if I could ever be ready I don't for know. the Makshaw. All right. Well, here's what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit in the Makshaw, but I gotta make a little bit of adjustment because that's when it really cranks in here. You're gonna hear that overdrive cranks. More, this is we're gonna go into like a kind of a, a really heavily overdriven, a fuzzy type sound that you'll hear. And I'm gonna it's best, man. So I'm gonna put these back at 12 o'clock here, and then I'm gonna kick it in. Now, why don't you go ahead and go on the bridge pickup? Let's start. We'll do all the pickups. Actually, we do all the pickups. Yeah, yeah, we can. We did yeah. do all the pickups, but yeah, let's see. Let's start with the let's we'll start with the bridge. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and play. I'm gonna kick it in. Oh, here it is. I love it. Let's go now, go do both pickups. Do you want me to, um, what do you, can you, well, as I'm playing around with this, yeah, yeah. do you want me to give it a little more gain, less mid? I, mean, I, I would love to give it a little more gain. I love how okay. hot it is. All right, let's do it. Oh, I mean, you hear
mid all the way off. Keep doing that. I turned the mid all the way down. Back on the on the game. Now you really just got that heavy. Oh yeah, there. Now dial back on the on the mid and the gain. So hear how it kind of like breaks up, like it's really um, how when you, it's not as heavy. It's it's um what's the word when you the harder you hit it the more it breaks up. Yeah yeah. So yeah you can hear. It. So remember let me do that so you can hear. If I really attack it right. Yeah. I think what's cool about that is then you can kind of be doing, they can be doing some picking things, right? Here. So you kind of get, without having to really touch your pedal or your guitar, you really get both worlds mm -hmm. a little bit of that clean and... And if you really yeah, and this is with the with the gain all the way dialed back and the mid too. That sounds great, doesn't that it? Sounds really really good. Here's all mid completely completely dialed back. Completely gone. I feel like I'm but it that still way. has mid sounds to it. That's oh, it's. Yeah. The... It sounds like Nirvana, like Nirvana, like Nirvana kind of. It does sound like yeah. yeah. It's a... There you go. I hope you weren't planning to make money on this video. You're oh my gosh. I'll have to cut that out. I don't, I don't have enough subscribers for that. So yeah. they don't they don't even notice. I swear. I'll play like different things they'd never notice because I got fifty subscribers. You got a little more than that now, Mike. Fifty one. I think what amazes me about this pedal, what I'm hearing is like you get everything from some great cleans mm -hmm. to just heavy, heavy kind of grungy, you know, overdrive, yeah. right? It's like a really versatile. Very versatile, yeah. yeah that's why that's why I have you over to play. You're the best, man. You can uh, really you bring out the versatile in the in the pedal. It, I bring out the I, I don't know. You I bring it out, man. You say. bring it out. You know 
what I did there? I actually brought the gain in the mid all the way to zero and the volume I had to increase higher. So let's yeah. do that again. Let's try that again. Because yeah. what I like about that, though, is that's a very kind of clean, like almost like reggae, like very yeah. spare. Put a compressor on that. Compressor. Yeah, yeah, really, really good. Okay, now this is, um, again, this is, I had to turn the volume on the pedal up more and the gain all the way down, mid all the way down. Go for it. I got the mid at 12 o'clock. Gain all the way to zero. Percent. Nice. Sounds good, right? Yeah, it does. It's not like a typical mid and gain, though, is it? No, no, it's got a very different feel to it. Um, it's almost more like it's not even just changing minute. It's, there's a tonal, yeah, change in there too. Yeah, the tonal change, and it even it does even talk about it too off on the Klom site and on the and actually about the pedal. It does mention that that, and I've seen other people do reviews of it. The mid, it's just it's very different. I don't know. It's not like the typical, you know, like yeah, like you said, it almost it changes the sound and the tone. Very, not just the, I don't know, it's, I don't know if I'm explaining that right. But well, was it, do you know, I mean, is this classified as an overdrive pedal or, or, or is this more? Yeah, that, I think or? it is. You know what, to me, it's an amp, it's an amp, it's almost like an amp in a box, amp in a box. That's but like, what I think it yeah, is. That's what I would consider, but it's kind of falls under the overdrive. Yeah, I, I so. agree. And I think there's some great, but I think it's more like most overdrive pedals, like how many overdrive pedals do you need, right? Like, yeah, there's so many. Need, and I feel yeah. like this is different. This just gives you. Like, yeah, I agree. It's more of an amp in a box. Yeah, because like, you can do great clean and, yeah. and very diverse clean and very versatile overdrive. When I think like, the interesting thing about that is it wouldn't matter even what guitar you're using. You're going to get a different right. feel for that. Like It'd be great for, for a Strat as well. Yeah, as a, and a uh, Strat. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, let's do one. How do you want to play it out? Do you want me to just go to the mock shower and play it out? I do kind of want to do the mock let's shower. It. That is my favorite. Without <laughs> All right, let's do it. Sounds good. Thank you. I think we'll wrap it up then. What do you think? I think so. I think uh, I think it's been a fun. Will you come back and do more videos with me? I don't know. It's a long walk. Like yeah, two, three it is houses. kind of far. It is kind of far. It's kind of far. But well, maybe what? we'll do we'll do some more, man. If we're both in town at the same time. Yeah, man. Let's turn that off. I know people are going to complain. That they're going to say, "Oh, listen to that noise." But yeah, you know what? Sometimes you got to do. That's part of the experience. <laughs> That's right, man. It's part of it. That's right. Well, cool. Well, hey, everybody. Thank you for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this crazy fun video we made. And uh, check out the the Aklam, Dr. Robert. I highly recommend it. Bob, would you recommend this pedal? Or? I would. I'm, I'm going to steal it from you as soon as we're done. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I know where you live. So yeah. I'm okay. Well, hey, well, thanks for coming by, Bob. And uh, thanks man. for watching, everybody. And uh, have a good one.